Right. Having seen how we deal with dealing still dealing with stills, bringing them into the ATEMS uh, still store, uh, we now want to work with a clip, an animation, a sequence of frames. So what I'm going to do, I may have to put the phone down at one point because I may have to shift select things, but we'll see how we go. Um, same place again. I've reset the reset the mixer for the most part back to default. I need to go into media. And you can see we've got one clip up here already, and it takes up 137 of 180 frames. Do you remember I said there was a slider where you could decide how many frames you want for each uh, each part, each one of the clips, whether it's 180, 180, or 60 and 300, or something like that. There is a slider in the settings for that. At the moment, the slider is exactly halfway, so I can have 180 frames here, 180 frames there. Um, it also means you can make compound clips as long as they amount to 180 frames. So I can add 137 here plus 25 of something over there. Or you can have 137 and 10 or 137 and 43 as long as it amounts to 180. So we'll see that in a moment. But I want to put something in clip 2 for now. So we can, oh, sorry, you're not actually seeing it, are you? I want to put something in clip 2 for now. So there we go. So going to find in the same way as we did before on Macintosh HD on users admin desktop I have this alphas folder and here I have a couple of folders I have some JPEGs which have no alpha channel so you can't use them for keying except perhaps luminance keying and I have some TIFFs with an alpha channel so in this case I'm going to keep it uh, onto the TIFFs so I'm going to choose TIFFs as you can see what I've got I've got 24 frames of animation. Uh, they're not great, they're just blue, they're just red, green and blue balls on a back background and the colours flicker a little bit. Um, but uh, best I could do in short notice. So all you need to do to bring these into a clip, you make sh it must be numbered sequentially uh, from 1 to 180 in maximum in this case. So I select the first one, go down to the bottom and here's where it comes, comes creative. I'm going to have, have to shift and click at the same time. So. Let me get the pointer in the right place. Hold down the shift key and I will click. There you go. And they're all selected. So I'm scrolling up and down. See they're all selected. I'm going to take, the, take them and drag them up here into, via a very circuitous route, clip two. I'm just going to drag and drop. Now, it's going to import all of those frames. That's why if it's a long animation, 100, plane, 100 frames, 150 frames, this will take quite a long time. It's bringing in these 24, so you can probably see that little clock. Dash, dash, dash. Each frame is being built up to make the animation out of the sequence. Right, that's done. It's telling you it's 24 frames out of 180. It's got alpha 001. We can actually play that in. So, go back to the switcher. And up where it says media players, we can put that clip onto one of the media players. So here, we've instead of still five, which we've deleted, it's empty now, we can go up to the top and put in clip two. And I'm going to set it to loop, and I'm going to push play. Now, as you can see over on the far right-hand corner, there's a little graphic. Mm -hmm. That sort of green, I, I like keeping an eye on the green dot, it's the brightest one. You can see it rotating around from point to point. Uh, I can bring it up on the panel here by bringing up MP2, and there it is. Uh, I know the light looks a little bit funny. In the uh, small program window, it does. it is actually green. This phone's showing it up as looking white, but uh, Hugh will attest to that, won't you, Hugh? What's that? In the program, win in the multi-view, program one uh, is actually green. Indeed. It's not white. My phone shows it up as white, but no, 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 uh, the big green. one's telling us it's green. So That's green, all right. Yeah, it uh, has a sort of green tinge when you move the camera around a bit, but it's definitely green. But it's the same animation. So, okay, so as you've seen, as you've seen up there, we've got the, um, uh, the media player rolling our NLE logo on the program output. We've got the preview output being our... our uh, imported animation, which is on the other media player, media player 2. Um, all I'm going to do, it doesn't have to be there, so I'm going to get rid of that. Let's put black source up there. I'm going to downstream key media player 2 over media player 1. So media player 1 is on the program bus. Um, I'm going to set up on my downstream keys media player 2. 
and Media Player 2 is key. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the on air button and there it is, keyed over the top. That's all there is to that. So that, alpha, that uh, animation came in with Alpha Channel and I'm able to downstream key over the top, just as if it was a still graphic or a lower third or something like that. So you can do it with animations. You can do it, it doesn't have to be a still. You can downstream key animations as well. Thank <laughs> you.